Hello everyone, greetings from the southern Italian countryside. We're here in my native Puglia. These are all olive trees, nothing but olive trees. And I'm having my morning walk and I decided to discuss a short topic that it's been brought to my attention. So the story goes as such, um, since COVID I've actually been engaging a lot more with my uh, one of my alumni networks. I say one of mine because I graduated from, uh, I have multiple alumni networks I'm involved in from my high school and three different universities. Um, <clears throat> and it's been great actually, thanks to a, a, a focus group uh, with fellow entrepreneurs and, uh, you know, one hour networking chill sessions uh, on, on Zoom on Saturdays, uh, we've been able to, uh, we've been able to reactivate the network more than even before COVID. So thanks COVID for that. Uh, it actually taught us new ways to network, which before would have not been possible because to be honest, it would have looked a little bit uh, <laughs> kind of like freaky you know, to be one net, to want to network so much. Um, and I'm a natural born networker, you know, with uh, like with 23,000 connections on LinkedIn. I'm like, I just love networking and attending tons of conferences, which of course you cannot do right now or in a while. So it's, it all worked out well because basically we moved quite fast on it. We've just been using, in terms of tools, let's talk about the tools. We've been using just a simple WhatsApp group since people can join it with one click. We were, somebody else uh, was kind of handling this, the, the group before of entrepreneurs was pushing for Slack. We did try Slack, to be honest, I never got into it. I don't think anyone else got in just because it's still always more cumbersome and a bit too chatty so with too many channels to follow. Uh, so we stayed with WhatsApp, which worked pretty well and gathered, I don't know, I would say like 40 people or so. I can check right now. And, um, and then we used Zoom. So that's it. That was our tech stack. Zoom, uh, well, WhatsApp for chat, Zoom for videos. And uh, also we started putting together a, like Google Slide to present to different companies and present people who they are. And uh, tried also Google Sheet, but not to do make a list of the people, but that was not visual enough, like somebody rightfully pointed out. So now it's like someone from the alumni network uh, uh, that of course got a lot of experience, but maybe, maybe uh, hasn't thought of all the IT as much as I've been thinking throughout the years. So when I, when I graduated in 2007, I actually wrote uh, one of my business projects uh, with, with Nokia, I was in Finland, about the consumerization of enterprise IT. I say it again, consumerization of enterprise IT. What does that mean? Let's see, guess. It means that it's the consumer, the enterprise IT is getting consumerized. Consumers are pushing through their own solutions. To the enterprise so definitely whatsapp is a great example of how us as consumers you know we just said hey let's just use whatsapp it's the fastest let's just go for that of course the it manager's got no control over that he has no idea so he's he's not so happy um zoom was actually pushed by the alumni group rightfully they like kind of you know upgrade with that technology so that was great but then kind of over and over they keep trying to push this uh, hive bright solution which you know i tried to log in not i'm not not just 10 times i'm just 20 times possibly like more close to 100 times and i just could never get back to it like i can, I can never feel the need to log back in uh, nor the nor i had a pleasant experience and so when a solution is hard to use slow um and there's a lot of UX issues, consumers will not adopt it. And so even if you push it from the top as an IT manager or as whatever, as a manager, that will, you know, just that will never fly. So the attitude has changed for around more than 10 years to basically, to, to mandating down, hey, use this, right? In a dic kind of dicta dictatorial way, how do you say, like a dictator, to more basically figuring out what tools are being used and hey okay let's let's get on to those let's adopt that let's adopt those through our network right let's push those um, 
and um, yeah, that's a way that obviously democracy has been applied also to to enterprise IT. But it's also just a faster, more nimble way to just try out different tools. Most of these tools are typically free, or at least have a freemium plan, so that like they give some features for free, and then maybe you need to upgrade. Uh, and so you don't need to actually make huge uh, IT investments. Of course, you know one might wonder what is the role then of this IT manager if he doesn't have, doesn't need anymore to invest all this money upfront and make all these huge project plans. Uh, well, I think the role is like to, to embrace new technologies faster and, and do more trials faster when you try and, and measure more. So I've been trying to ask, like, you know, they showed a really funny graph uh, last time we, we actually had uh, actually got, got involved with an alumni session, but like planning you know, what they do. And they showed a very funny vanity graph showing how subscription or like numbers of users logged in were, that ever logged in were going up. And I'm like... No shit, Sherlock, that's always going to go up, you know. But you got to look at what are the monthly active users, what are the daily active users. Like, how many people are actually on the platforms every day or every month? That's how Facebook, Instagram, and all those guys track the actual... You know, that's the key matrix that they track for kind of any social network uh, type, of, type of program. And, uh, yeah, we got to, of course, get, get on with the program. I totally understand. I mean, to be honest... This particular school is actually more advanced in general with, uh, with their programs because they're actually more lean and more willing to try and experiment, uh, at least for the more kind of the marketing folks. Unfortunately, the IT folks have, have not embraced the innovation as much, strangely, oddly, right, since they're, they should be closer to the, to the innovation. But I think it's, it's probably becoming from this tension in which, you know, they might feel their, their role is becoming less relevant and I would say that if the attitude is that you know they wanted to mandate certain tools no matter what no matter how good they are no matter how you know fun they are to use and great they are to use yes their role is irrelevant because anyways no one is listening to them no one is using their tools but if they change their approach and they start to actually engage in conversations with the users and list and measure actual data right about what actually gets used and figure out from users what do they prefer right the consumer and the user is the king it's not the IT manager so I know it sounded very polemic but this was the second take of the video so I was like a little bit tired of talking about it for a second time I guess first one came out too noisy um, reason I took this video here is that I to be honest I could not be bothered to to take this video while, while I'm in my office home home office um and i just felt the need to talk about it here and just wanted to kind of get it out of the way um you know i i saw a really interesting graph uh, that i will share in which kind of the only time in which uh interesting conversation happen and development happens is when you have uh when you're in the middle between kind of a destructive approach and a constructive approach so you know i'm trying to meet the middle where i'm saying we gotta destruct get away and forget about tools that are not being used right just forget them and we gotta construct and build and so use tools that are actually being used and measure that um so hopefully you know my my intentions are clear and my intentions are good. I'm actually very, very fond of all my schools and universities, but this one in particular, because uh, I think that was the the, the, um, the institution that actually managed, uh, that helped me to get, in, to get into Nokia, to get into technology, to get into uh, to multinationals, to work abroad internationally. So I'm very, very thankful to that particular school. Um, and yeah those are my thoughts about uh, tools and you know enterprise it and consumerization uh, let me know if you have any thoughts let me know what kind of tools you use let me know what kind of because tools are always changing that's the thing you know i'm always like it's the my the the, the the post about which tools i use never gets old you gotta always keep innovating stay hungry stay foolish take care guys bye bye